These people are completely and utterly ridiculous. Okay. So, this is the... These people, you know, these people are very, very weird. So, these are exclusive games. Okay. You know, exclusive games. These are games, you know, that are only on one console. Okay. Starfield. Okay. For Xbox, that's pretty understandable. But... <laughs> The wars of for P the PC is never ending. Okay, the wars of for PC is never ending. First of all, thankfully we haven't seen many Bloodborne for PC anymore. Maybe they finally gave up, knowing that Bloodborne will never come to PC. So Nintendo, of course, you have Tears of the Kingdom. It's pretty obvious it's Nintendo's biggest game of the year. Be you know, with my wonder, but really, PC Borders Gate Free. When clearly the game is coming to PS Five. And the game is clearly coming to the Xbox Series X and S someday as well. So, this game is coming to the consoles. So that means Boy Gate 3 is not an exclusive to PC. Okay, it is not. It is coming to consoles. Say so Starfield, if you use that logic, Starfield is not an exclusive to Xbox. I know they put games like Starfield on PC. They really have a reason why all Xbox games come to PC. And that's because they want... That's because Xbox actually does care about game preservation. So, even if the Xbox servers go offline and never make Xbox anymore, the game will still be able to be played on PC. Because PC will be a total. But even then, Xbox, PlayStation, it says, Sony Sisters, can Spider Meme do something for us? Or are just going to get wrapped at again? First of all, okay, PlayStation 5, okay, without any major exclusives, okay, besides God of War Ragnarok, okay, you know, because Forspoken is not a major exclusive. Hogwarts Legacy is on Xbox as well. Final Fantasy 16 is a failure. Nobody played that game. It was a failure. Yeah. And you also have the Miles Morales game, but that was a also on the PS4. It's also God of War Ragnarok on PS4. Gotta see this. What consoles is God of War Ragnarok? Okay, God of War Ragnarok is also on the PS4. So if you really wanted to, you can just not buy a PS5 and let's play the PS4 version. So, PlayStation 5 has no major exclusives, except for Spider-Man 2. You know, Xbox has, now has, is going to have Starfield, and Nintendo has, of course, the vast assortment of IPs. But, you know, you haven't had real next-gen exclusives. And sorry, Forspoken is not a, ex a real next-gen exclusive, because nobody played that game. Nobody bought it. It was in landfills. Same thing with Final Fantasy 16, which is the lowest selling Final Fantasy game in history. Okay. But, yes. God of War Ragnarok is technically not a PS5 exclusive. It's also on the PS4. Same thing as Spider-Man Miles Morales is also on the PS4. Okay. But can Spider-Man... <laughs> I think Spider-Man will probably sell really well considering there's 40 million PS5s in the wild. I think Starfield will sell well. I think it will sell consoles. If, you know, I'm not calling Halo Infinite as Xbox Series X and S exclusive because they put it on Xbox One. Mean if people don't want to play it. Mean if people didn't have to buy a new console, they want to play Halo Infinite as well. And yet they do this every. It was, this is like the first set of ways. Well, instead of saying, okay, God of War, Ragnarok, and Halo Infinite, you have to buy these new consoles. If you if you want to play these games, you have to buy new consoles. But both Sony and Microsoft decided to be generous and you know give us some time, knowing you know, probably because given the current state of the economy. The pandemic and all that stuff. They gave us a couple more years to adjust to these new consoles that they usually do. You know, usually have new games right out the ass. Saying, hey, this is only on our new console. You have to buy it because of console generations. Okay. Like, Halo 3 did not come to the original Xbox. Okay. It came to the 360 and 360 only. Okay. My, you know, my Galaxy did not come to the GameCube. They said, you have to buy a Wii. You have to buy a Wii for Mario Galaxy, okay? You know, Breath of the Wild, that was different. That was really developed for the Wii U. But Mario Odyssey, you, can, you, you can't use the 3DS or the Wii U anymore. You have to buy the Switch to get Mario Odyssey. That's the only console you could buy Mario Odyssey on, okay? And that's how those those types of games really sell consoles, if you really think about it, okay? Because, you know, you, you can't get them on anywhere else. And yes, a game might be on PC as well. <clears throat> but PC and... P these people need to realize. Okay. PC and console gamers are two separate types of people. They're two separate types of gamer. Okay. PC gamers don't play console games. Unless they have like an old console or something. But they usually do not buy new consoles. They usually just play on the PC. 
Console gamers buy new consoles. Okay, that's basically the simple as that. So why are we overpraising the PC for Baldur's Gate 3? Okay. When console and PC gamers are far different than each other. Okay. As well. And yep, that is about this video here. Goodbye.